How did VRH become about and what was the driving force behind its creation? Sure, so I'm reminded of a Margaret Mead quote. I never doubt that a small group of committed individuals can change the world. In fact, it's the only thing that ever has. I was uh, part of the litigation team that brought the Thompson versus HUD lawsuit that resulted in two settlements with HUD and under those settlements the um, mobility program among other remedies were set up and, the, and those mobility remedies led to the founding of BRHP. The suit was filed on behalf of residents of public housing in Baltimore City and there were two defendants. One of them was the Housing Authority of Baltimore City and the other was the U.S. Department of HUD for which I worked. I worked on the Thompson v. HUD case at the ACLU of Maryland, um, starting as a document reader back uh, before the case went to trial. I'm Pete Symbolic. I'm the Managing Director of Operations and Program Evaluation here at BRHP. The driving force for BRHP um, was to help right the historical wrongs um, that have uh, accrued over decades and decades of local, state, and federal housing policy um, and really serves as a, a way to uh, facilitate integration, um, both racial and economic, throughout our region. When BRHP became into existence as a result of the final finalization of the case and a new nonprofit was formed to um, manage the program and went from four employees to 50 employees on January 1st, 2015. So helped to grow a nonprofit from the very beginning um, based on the work we did at the ACLU. Uh, I, I guess the most important thing would be that uh, if you are trying to resolve a long-term uh, wrong that has been committed, not just to an individual but to a community, you need to create lasting institutions that can collaborate with the community and create uh, the resolution, to create the reconciliation that is necessary. And uh, in that respect, the Baltimore Regional Housing Partnership has done that. They, uh, the organization partners with those that it is seeking to serve, elevates their voices, elevates their needs, and uh, I would say that that is the, the biggest thing that I would focus on in terms of the origin story of the organization is that uh, working with and empowering the communities you serve is much more important than simply giving those communities money. And we're not simply a direct service provider, we're not simply an affordable housing provider, we are carrying out um, civil rights work day in day out and helping to further the civil rights of many Baltimoreans um, today. And that's what we do every day. We provide an opportunity for mostly children to live in uh, opportunity areas, places where they have access to other resources and safe housing. My name is Michael Johnson. I've been a part of the program since 2018. I have a disabled son with cerebral palsy and I had in-home nursing. And one of his caregivers kept telling me I should go down to MBQ and sign up. She just kept kept going. I mean, she kept saying, you know, go down there, they'll help you out. You have a disabled child, they'll, they'll hook you up and, do, and help you get things. And I'm, you know, saying, no, no, I'm used to doing things for myself, so I don't see that happening. But I eventually did. At the time, BRHP contacted me. I was in dire need. And fortunate for me, it was at the right time. It was one of those situations where you feel like everything was not going right. You know, you was having a bad day, a bad week, a bad month. Everything was just 
not going good at all. You know, you don't see a lot of guys in programs like this, you know. When I went to the workshop, I think it was myself and maybe two other guys. So I'm going to say about almost 20 years. I like the fact that they did, they are willing to help you to advance. And, and, and then not only that, then it'll take you further because you can always use that. Again, they can't take it from you. And BRHP makes sure they build the whole person, if, I, if you will. Not just, you know, you over here or you over there. They build the whole person, if you let them. I came from living in a one bedroom to me with two girls and a drug infested area. The atmosphere and the area and the energy it gave off was just very depressing. And um, when I moved to my new location where I'm at now, it was just different. The grass, the, like, the grass actually does seem greener. <laughs> and the overall atmosphere is just so peaceful. Like I can hear the birds chirping. I could co sit on my steps and just take it all in, and it's just, it's just awesome. As I said earlier, BRHP came along at a time when I was really low, and it kind of picked me, not kind of, it picked me up. You know, it brought me back to say, well, okay, you don't have to do this alone. Just, just allowing me to have a home, not having to live in a one bedroom, not having to stay with a relative, having something of my own. The way BRHP uh, manages affordable housing is that it ensures that zip codes are not the determinant uh, of, of outcomes, that people that uh, live in a certain zip code will not be foreclosed from opportunities that would be available if they lived five miles east, west, north, or south. I want to thank BRHP uh, for allowing me to um, go through their program because you know some people say well the program goes through you in some instances it does but to go through their program if you allow it it will benefit you like I said for lifelong and you will never forget this program. <laughs>